Hey everybody. Yeah. Just get, in one second, I gotta do this video quick before my timer goes off, and I gotta, I gotta hang out with the kids. That's right. The kids have resorted to using a timer on me. Um, so this circuit is designed for voltage with very little uh, uh, current or ampl amperage or joules or um, capacitance. I mean, however you want to look at it, however you like to look at it. I personally look at it as like uh, joules and how how much water is in the swimming pool, not necessarily this. Is, yeah, so very little water in the swimming pool, but, uh, but large waves. Um, right now, it's 16... Um, 16 volts from this battery. Okay, I'm gonna run this off the battery just to show you uh, how it kind of kicks on, and then I'm gonna show you a schematic that's actually accurate that I put, that I put together. Because a couple people were telling me how terrible that schematic was, and and I have to agree with them because that schematic was absolutely just god awful. But uh, so now we've looked at the voltage. I'm just gonna hit this real quick. I'll just tap it. Uh, if I can find it, there we go. Hopefully it comes on. If it doesn't, then something's awry. Yeah, something's awry. Oh, no, there we go. Oops, I guess you put it on there. So it's not like the Alcula circuit where you just tap it. You actually have to charge up the capacitors. Um, and then after you charge up the capacitors, you can leave it alone for quite a while. It's, it's basically like a has a reverberation, you know, it just it has um, like an echoing effect. It just is bouncing around because it can't, it can't find ground, essentially. But the ground is coming in through the diodes. And I'll show you that in a second. And I actually forgot a whole diode, which is pretty important. But I'll turn up the brightness. Obviously, it'll um, dim the, long, the brighter you go on it. Uh, that's just an oscillating circuit with a like a resonant transformer. It's essentially all this is. Uh, I've seen lots of people do oscillating circuits like this. But as you can see from the battery, the battery didn't give it that much. I didn't give it that much of a charge. I didn't really leave it on there for very long, so the capacitors didn't charge up all the way. So if I charge it up with that, you can see it charges up decently. Turn it up just a touch. go Don't turn it up too much and it'll kill kill the LEDs um, now you gotta add more to the circuit or if somebody else sees some some ideas that can add to the circuit to make it even more efficient uh, perhaps a transformer perhaps something else then feel free but uh, so I'm gonna unhook this and I'll unhook the ground too just for safe measure but this I'm right now I'm tr I'm trumping the um, the uh, bridge rectifier. I have it in front of the bridge. The 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 power coming in from the bridge rectifier since the batteries are already DC, so there's no really point in rectifying it. Um, but uh, it does loot the in, after it's in in uh, the it, alternating currents induced. It does feed back through and loop through the bridge rectifier several times. So there's drop offs and of course all the diodes, and that's probably the most inefficient part. Besides the resistor, and that's why I tried to. I tried to. <laughs> my wife's looking at me crazy. <laughs> I tried to uh, um, not use as least amount of resistance as possible. I'm trying to use capacitance instead of resistors because resistors basically are capacitors in Henry's, and they also um, uh, have losses just like diodes. Yeah, so all that stuff. So I'm trying to use the KISS model, you know, keep it simple, stupid. Um, or the expletive version of that, but uh, so so that's that. Now let's show you the the schematic, and you see, I mean, it, it runs for quite a while. I mean, these aren't hooked up at all. I can just I can unhook these, I guess. Actually, I am gonna, yeah, it's not hooked up to anything. And there's my <laughs> ground wire. I'm gonna hook back up because I'm gonna do some more tests with that later tonight. Maybe, if I get the chance. I probably won't, but um, I won't hook it up. I'll just leave that there like that. And if I don't turn up the potentiometer to really light out the LEDs bright, it, it stays for quite a while. So at just uh, 470 
because these are in series, so it's just 470 uh, ultrafarad, and it, it you know stays for quite a while. The idea of it is like a like a resonant loop kind of. So I made this as the noise as the dirty back EMF, and then it runs through the bridge rectifier, and the negative side of the bridge rectifier of the alternating is uh, is grounded. Okay. Um, and I'll just show you the schematic here. Uh, and I did my best with those, those, uh, with the, with the transformer there, but I actually forgot this entire diode, which is a critical diode, uh, to, to the negative side. And that, that was pretty important and I missed it in my last schematic, but, um, it's f uh, 40 turns of 26 on the toroid and it's a step up to uh, 90 turns of the um, of uh, 28 and then uh, 300 some turns I think it's probably about 330 turns of uh, of um, 30 gauge on that uh, air core which is wrapped around a nylon um, sewing needle or cro crochet needle or whatever um, and then I have uh, uh, 2N and a 2P transistors, both are 2222 style, but you know, it just depends on which uh, which uh, manufacturer you get it from. They're both uh, NTEs, and I, I, I see the NTEs, uh, it's a uh, the 2P is uh, 159, and the uh, and the 2N is a is a 123AP, um, and so that's pretty much it voltage doubler pretty uh hopefully that schematic is a little bit easier to follow um then <laughs> then um <laughs> the one that i put the one that i drew up quickly um so and then of course i have two leds and they're both in parallel i believe yes they're in parallel so i have two leds in parallel so they're actually pu pulling more current and uh which what i find fascinating is they're pulling more current in the system than I actually have technically to what the current is in the um, in the back EMF you know in the original now the, what I just showed you at the beginning of the video obviously I was jumping in front of the the bridge rectifier um, and uh, and and uh, didn't uh, with you know the battery, so I don't don't need to rectify it. But it's still, if you look, it's still it still loops back in and goes um, goes in, into the because the positive is always going negative, right? So it's going into the bridge rectifier on the positive side. Um, still, nonetheless, so it's kind of cool, cool circuit, I think. Uh, and it's and this is not my idea solely. I mean, this is ideas built upon all of you guys like um, like I said slider I already mentioned him lid motor um, oh man I know I'm missing uh, uh, G bluer there's so many people to, to name it's really uh, laser saber so many people so many people uh, Bedini obviously but uh, this is just uh, my little tinkering experiments I did and uh, I'm just Yeah, that's pretty much it. And obviously, it's it's out of juice. Even when I turn her up, actually, I didn't even have the pot all the way down, so I probably could have gone maybe a little longer. But I'll hook this back up to to go out. Uh, actually, that's a negative. Positive, negative. Get back up to the uh, back EMF and uh, call it quits. So thank you so much for watching.